Welcome students. In this video, we will discuss about a tool named as Microsoft Power BI for your subject business intelligence. Now, the first point comes that is what is the Microsoft Power BI? A very simple answer. Everybody knows a business intelligence process. The process says that we have a data source. They are being stored inside the data warehouses by using the tool called as extract, transform and load. These data sources data has been extracted transform as per subjective data and loaded inside a data warehouse. Then we are trying to implement the OLAP that is termed as online analytical process, which consists of data mining. Then we go to the reporting data analysis and ultimately these reportings are helping you to take the appropriate decisions that is decision making. And to complete these everything, what we need, we need to use the Microsoft Power BI. So it is a very, very uh, uh, good tool which is used for the sake of business intelligence platform, which can be used by the non-technical users as well as by the technical users also. Now, the very important thing comes, that is, what are the common users of the Power BI? Now, Microsoft Power BI is used to find the insight within the organization. So, we can understand a pattern. I can show you very simply, these kind of dashboards can be created by you by using the Microsoft Power BI. That will be helping you a lot to go for presenting your data, which is used for the sake of better decision making. And we are able to create these kind of dashboard. We are able to go for sharing this dashboard also uh, using the Power BI. Moving ahead, who is using the Power BI? A simple answer, a non-technical person also can use the Power BI as well as many times you will find the data analyst or the business intelligence professional or the department representative and the management are using the Power BI so that they can forecast uh, the pattern, they can understand the pattern and they are able to go for deciding how the organization should now go ahead. So that is what the use of this Power BI. Now, what are the key features of Power BI? Simple key features are there. It has been used in artificial intelligence. We are having the hybrid deployment support like Salesforce, Microsoft, other vendors can be also connected. We are able to have a quick insight of the data so that will be helping you to go for applying the better analytics. We can use the common data model support. Some additional key features are we are able to go for customization. We are able to go for API for integration. We can implement self-service data preparation as well as modeling the view. Let's move ahead. Uh, let us try to understand the Power BI component. So you can very well understand the Power BI components are Power Query, Power Pivot, Power View, Power Map, Power Question and Answer. Um, you are able to connect to various data sources including Oracle, SQL Server, IBM Database, Amazon Redshift, Google BigQuery and many other data sources can be connected. But which one we are using in our curriculum, we will be using the Power BI Desktop. So Power BI Desktop is the one which is a tool for creating the better look and feel and better reports. Everything can be merged together in the Power BI Desktop. Now, if I am saying that I am a professional Power BI, then what are my duties and what are my responsibilities? A simple answer, a responsibility of a Power BI developer is to create a detailed summary of the large amount of data where decision makers can look at the reports and can make the quick decision based on insight which are provided by. Uh, duties are the data sources that the data aata hai that may not be in a proper way. So we require to organize them, we require to transform them, which is needed for the sake of reporting. So they are the duties of the Power BI uh, analytics or Power BI designers. Let's move ahead. We need to understand the skills which is needed to become the Power BI professional. Now you need to have an understanding about the formulas. You need to have an understanding about SQL. We need to have an understanding about data modeling. So basic thing which we had learned in your semester 1, 2, 3, 4, somewhere the way around you had learned about SQL. You had learned already in the school days also about your MS Excel. Try to brush up your skills of MS SQL. Try to brush up your skills of SQL. That will help you to become a good professional of in the Power BI. Now, what is the salary range and the companies who are hiring the Power BI professional? Now, why I'm creating this thing? Because you are using such a beautiful, such a good tool. So you should be aware that why I should be learning this tool, whether it will be useful for my career or not. 
truly speaking, the different job titles like data analysis, business intelligence, BI developer, software engineer, senior software engineers, business intelligence analysis, senior business intelligence analysis, senior data analytics and the salaries are also given by me. All these person does not require to have only a knowledge of Power BI. They need to have a knowledge of many other things. But Power BI is also one type of tool. If they are knowing it, that will be always giving the better preferences towards the person. So why we should be learning the Power BI is very simple because for any kind of job profile, they are looking at whether you are having a knowledge about this particular tool or not. And the companies in India, like big four companies for audit like KPMG, Deloitte, PwC, our IT company like Dell, Hexaware, Capgemini, SCL, Infosys, Wipro, Microsoft, they are all are the hiring person where they are looking at whether the person is having a knowledge about the Power BI or not. So... If I would like to say that if you would like to work with a uh, big MNC and top MNC company, then Power BI career is not a bad option. So Power BI is a lot of demand in the time. So you have given a lot of academics in Power BI. So we will have a good understanding of it. So that will help you out uh, to build your better profile. Just remember that your curriculum is very good. You need to have a professional knowledge, job-oriented knowledge. Definitely for that you can again come back to me. But whatever is in a curriculum, if you understand that also properly, that is much more useful because already we are learning these kind of subjects in a curriculum, which is really very, very uh, good subjects, which are the current subject. So I advise everybody to prepare well for this Power BI in a subject named as Business Intelligence. Okay, thanks a lot students.